Riz Ahmed British actor and rapper Rizwan Ahmed is a British actor and rapper. He has received several awards, including an Academy Award and a Primetime Emmy Award with nominations for two Golden Globe Awards and two British Academy Film Awards. In 2017, he was named in the Time 100 listing of the most influential people in the world. Born, December 1, 1982, age 41 years, Wembley. Spouse, Fatima Farheen Mirza, M. 2020. Upcoming movie, Untitled Alejandro G. Inaritu Film. Height, 1.72 meters Alma Mater, Christ Church, Oxford, BA, Central School of Speech and Drama. Also known as, Riz MC. Riz Ahmed, born December 1, 1982, also known by his stage name Riz MC and birth name Rizwan Ahmed, is a British Pakistani actor, rapper, and activist. As an actor, he has won one Emmy Award, out of two Emmy nominations, and was also nominated for a Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild Award, and three British Independent Film Awards. IMDb Mini Biography by Wikipedia Family Spouse Fatima Farheen Mirza, 2020 Present Children No children Trivia Graduated from Oxford University with a degree in philosophy, politics, and economics and later enrolled into London's Central School of Speech and Drama. Whenever he has to drop his natural English accent for a role, he speaks to everyone on and off set without it until everything is wrapped up. In September 2017, he became the first male actor of South Asian origin to win an Emmy, for his role in The Night Of, 2016. Was nominated for the 2012 Shooting Stars Award, which is held every year at the Berlin Film Festival. The award is given to Europe's leading young stars. Previous winners include Daniel Craig, Rachel Wise, Kelly MacDonald, and Carrie Mulligan. Inspired equally by jungle and hip-hop, Ahmed first got involved with music directly in his mid-teens, cutting his teeth on pirate radio and in battle rap competitions, of which he won many. He was selected as an inaugural BBC Introducing Artist in 2007 at the Glastonbury Festival and at London's Jazz Café for BBC Electric Proms the very same year. Also known by his hip-hop alias, Riz MC, he released his first hip-hop single in 2006, Riz MC, post-9-11 Blues, 2006 a controversial satire that was temporarily banned from British airplay. It caught the attention of notorious satirist Christopher Morris, who cast him in his BAFTA-winning indie feature, Four Lions, 2010. His Emmy Award-winning role in The Night Of, 2016, required him to both lose and bulk up in weight. He is of Pakistani descent. Since graduating from Oxford in 2004, he has worked consistently in theater, film and television, starring in award-winning dramas The Road to Guantanamo, 2006, Shifty, 2008, and Four Lions, 2010. Merited a position in Time Magazine's The 100 Most Influential People, 2017, with an homage contributed by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Riz Ahmed is also a rapper under the name Riz MC. He won several rap battles in 2005, including at Hit and Run Night in Oxford, The Jump Off, Battles Cars, and DJ Nihal's Bombay Bronx. As of 2021, he has become the first ever Muslim to be nominated for a Best Leading Actor Oscar for his film Sound of Metal. The previous Muslim to be nominated and win an Oscar was Mahershala Ali, who won for Best Supporting Actor for Moonlight and Green Book. Ahmed has been in two movies with Jake Gyllenhaal, director Dan Gilroy's crime thriller Nightcrawler, 2014, and director Jacques Audiard's adventure comedy The Sisters Brothers, 2018. Favorite TV series growing up in the UK was The A-Team, 1983. Brother is a psychiatrist, his sister is an attorney is one of 11 actors of Asian descent nominated for an Academy Award in an acting category. The others are Miyoshi Yumiki, Seshu Hayakawa, Mako, Hang S. Inger, Pat Morita, Ken Watanabe, Rinko Kikuchi, Yeung Yoon, Stephen Yoon, and Ben Kingsley. Quotes The camera or the microphone in the booth is merciless. If you don't believe what you're saying, it hears it. If you don't believe it, it sees it in your eyes. 
it hears it in your voice that there isn't the conviction there. Oxford University is socially unrepresentative of the real world. The first person I met, I asked to borrow a phone charger. She looked at me, laughed in my face, and told me with no irony or malice that I looked just like Ollie G. What's interesting about the UK is that it celebrates an alternative voice. It's up for telling new stories. Within that fresh range of stories, there are quite a lot of interesting roles out there for young actors. If you seize every opportunity to do the best you can then, just like any freelance profession, word can spread and you might get wider opportunities. I'm not in a starry position to be able to pick and choose, but I am interested in telling stories of substance with great directors, that's my only guiding principle. On representing the Asian community, I try and say that in terms of my intentions, that is to represent myself. But in terms of an awareness of it, like, you know, you're aware of the fact that you do represent more than yourself if there aren't a variety of representatives. It's the same as, like, the dad in East is East is just a character that someone has written, but if there's only one Asian dad on TV for five years then that figure becomes archetypal, you extrapolate from that to represent every Asian dad, for example. And if there aren't that many faces on the screen, then the faces that are on screen carry extra weight. So I'm aware of that, and I don't think putting my head in the sand is fair really because I think we're in the business of trying to articulate. Sometimes it's healthy to be indulgent and try to articulate your own thoughts, but trying to articulate collective thoughts of us as Asians, particularly if you're a social group that doesn't have much access or platform to voice your own. I'm not saying you should basically represent minorities or disenfranchised people, how they want to be represented, how do they want to be represented. That's patronizing in itself, but, yeah, I am aware of that. Riz MC, Post 9-11 Blues, 2006, is an observational satire about the surreal circus of fear at that time. It's a generational thing.